Most people will agree that an obnoxious fly buzzing around the room while you're trying to watch TV is one of the most annoying things ever. But you know what's even more annoying? That same fly buzzing around the room when you can't move, like when you're stuck on the toilet. Oh, come on, man. Hey, you're paranoid as heck. Nah, but for real. One of the most annoying pests is something called a fake smart person. And these jokers out in abundance. Scientists hypothesize that social media has accelerated their growth, but nothing's been proven yet. Fake smart people thrive off of three basic components. The first is, what if? They love using this. The problem is, they use it to bring up the most outrageous scenarios, most of which have nothing to do with the topic of discussion. What if the little boy had three arms? What if your parents could only afford steak and lobster? What if your daddy got pregnant? The heck? All I said was childhood obesity is getting out of hand. The heck you talking about? The second component? All and every. Somehow, no matter what you say, a fake smart person will try to make your statement seem like it applies in every single situation ever. For example, if I say a good morning, is it a good morning for them starving kids in Africa? Everybody's not having a good morning. How we get to Africa? If you say anything in general, like good fathers are needed in the household, you think you just said something encouraging. But here they come. All successful people don't come from two-parent households, so that statement is invalid. Uh, shut up. Or you could even say something you think is safe, like humans need oxygen to breathe. But not to disappoint, here they come. You can't make a generalized statement like that. Have you met every human? No. Then you don't know if all humans need oxygen. That's just your opinion. Yo, where'd you come from? The third component, big words. Usually I appreciate somebody with an extensive vocabulary, but these people do it so wrong. Studies show, they always making up a study, that information mutilated to the masses furthermore the ideology status quo to assist the bureaucracy in meditation. Therefore, your statement is invalid and ignorant. What? Oh, by the way, new music by Josh Adam is out and available right now. The link is in the description box below. If you love the Rise of a Dream, you're gonna love this. Very low price, go ahead and take it back. My main point, both the fly and the fake smart person are both annoying. But if I had to choose, I'd gladly take the fly, because at least I can kill him without going to jail.